Hello, beautiful queens. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, queens. As you can see, the gorgeous pictures on your screen right now. I will be showing you guys how I achieve this slick bun look. A lot of people actually inboxed me and they wanted to know how I go from my beautiful luscious afro to this slick down bun. And that's what I'll be showing you today. So basically, these are the things that you will need. These are the things that I use when I do this uh, hairstyle. I use Eco Styling Gel. You can use whichever other brand you like, but that, that's what works for me. Then I use a hairbrush. You can see it's all beat up. That's my favorite brush. You need scrunchies and bobby pins, as well as water in your spray bottle with a drop of coconut oil. That's my personal preference. I don't know about other people, as well as the hair extensions. I prefer this particular texture because I feel like it complements my natural hair. So yeah, let's get into it. As you can see, I had just woken up. I was not in the mood. <laughs> Guys, I'm such a grumpy person in the morning. I just, I, I don't know how my boyfriend's ever dealt with me. So anyway, I first start out by spraying my hair. Making sure I get every inch. Not every inch, but I, I, I actually did this by mistake. <laughs> And then I was like, whoa, wait a minute, sis, you're onto something. Because what I realized is that when I used my Eco Styling Gel direct and applied it directly on my hair, that actually didn't come out the way I wanted it to. Until this one day where I think I used the Eco Styling Gel after I washed my hair. Something like that. I can't remember. But that was like one of those, you know, accidental recipes that, that end up working. They go in the family family secret book so anyway after i spray down my hair i make sure i smooth it out and try to gather every inch of hair spray the bun bun puff puff out just rub the water in to make sure my hair is a little moist and then afterwards i use my brush and the main purpose or the whole point of using the brush is to um, make sure that I smooth my hair out and I gather my hair, make sure it's all slick and laid down before I use my hair scrunchie. So that's what works for me. I don't know how other people do it, but that's how I do it. Yeah, look at that, sis. Whenever I brush out my hair and I see these waves, I lose it. <laughs> I lose it. I'm like, yes, sis, you got waves and all of that. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I use the brush, continue brushing my hair up and make sure that I get everything. To, that, that just helps to smooth your hair out, especially with me. Sometimes I wake up with like knots in my hair. I don't know where they're coming from. So when I use this brush, it actually helps me to remove some knots obviously if they're not like hectic um yeah so anyway i'm trying to gather my hair into a little cute bun most of the time i make sure that my uh bun is not all the way in the front i don't want to look like papa bean <laughs> and once i find the position that works for me make sure i center the bun i use my scrunchie which is old and ragged as you can see it's all stretched out but anyway i use that and make sure i tie it until my hair is so freaking tight it feels like i'm getting a headache um yeah so once i'm done anyway i normally try to remove any extra knots that i have and try to smooth my hair out again by spraying um the coconut oil and water mixture onto my hair and then I'm still brushing it out. And finally, we use the Echo Styling Gel. Um, so with this part, some people say they actually apply the Echo Styling Gel before they tie their hair. I tried that once and it was just a disaster. So I personally prefer to tie my hair first before I apply the Echo Styling Gel. Um, you can apply, you know, um, what, whichever amount works for you. You, so sometimes you can just dip in one finger if not you can scoop the whole tab out girl whatever works for you um so yeah normally i just start out by 
applying it to my edges and pulling it all the way back because honestly some days i couldn't be bothered i just want the front part to look cute <laughs> and the back is looking raggedy so it depends on what i feel like on that particular day but today obviously i wanted that slick look because i was actually about to record my styling video so obviously as i'm twirling and whatever sis i don't want you to see my ricana on the back of my hair honey mm -mm. and yeah i normally use a shorter scarf but that was in the washing machine so this is the one that was gonna work yes sis right so after i do that I make sure I leave it on for half an hour and went about my business doing whatever, made breakfast, took a shower, and all of that. So yeah, happy girl. Obviously, it took longer than half an hour. I think it took about an hour and a half. Um, you can see I'm back with my face all beads, sis. Um, now I'm removing the bobby pin. And just to make sure that my hair is still a bit moist before I use my hair extensions, I spray down the puff puff, the bun. Now it's time for the hair extension on. I don't even know what brand this is. This does not look like, what do they call it? Miley braids or whatever, I don't know sis. So anyway, yeah, this is how I start braiding this um, extension onto my natural hair. Just to get that extra boost. Um, it's it's hard sometimes. You know when you wake up in the mood for a particular hairstyle and it's just not coming together. Today was one of those days because it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. But I had to follow through with it because I had already started recording the video. You know I'm Shay. So yeah, just to give you guys an idea of how I actually achieve the whole slick bun look. Because people inboxed me on my in Instagram actually. And some of my friends requested that I make this video. And that's why we're here, sis. So, obviously, because I had tied my soul scarf, it probably removed some of the product on my edges. I'm just going to go in with more Echo Styling Gel just to get that shine, shine back into my edges. <laughs> Guys, I absolutely love the lighting in my apartment. It's to die for. It's just the bomb.com. Ugh. So yeah, anyway, once I've done that, I don't like this whole thing of pulling your baby hair to your face, making it look like baby hairs and this. Uh, listen, I want my bun to be very clean and smooth and that's it. So I'm just going to go back in and try to create a pattern if I feel like it. You know, just sweeping the hair to the side. But most of the time I just pull my hair back, brush it back just to achieve that clean, polished look. Then to put the final touch, sis. This is my essence mattifying spray. I absolutely love it. I love it. 
and just like that just like that i am finito i am done this is how i achieve my clean polished beautiful slick bun look yes sis, you better work it sis. you better rock it mm-hmm what the feeling when you what the feeling when you that's how I do it guys so anyway I hope all the people who left the comments in my inboxes will come and watch this video anyway guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe period sis join the kingdom till the next video guys goodbye bye